Hello guys and welcome back. In this video we will learn how to use array list. We got a hint of what array list do in the last lesson. An array list is a data structure or container that allows us to store multiple values under the same name. This gives us lots of advantages because when we do things uh, like write loops to access each item in the array list, do not have to name each item individually like a variable grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, and so on. In this first lesson, I want to just uh, discuss how to initialize array list because it is quite a bit different than anything we looked out before. The first thing we have to do is import the class into our program. So we do that by putting an import statement at the top, import java util array list now that gives us access to the array list class then to declare and initialize an array list we always do it in the same line we type array list followed by a less than sign and sometimes we call it an open angle bracket followed by a data type string for example followed by greater than sign followed by a space the name of the array list i'm going to call this one names followed by an equal sign followed by new indicating that we are calling the constructor for a class object or an instance object then the name of the class array list the data type again inside angle brackets followed by an open and close parenthesis the syntax is a little bit rough and by rough i mean a little bit complex for what we are used to but you get the hang of it soon let's look at another example let's say we want to do a list of integers Notice that when I declare the data type after the keyword array list, I used the full word integer even though we were used to declaring integers with int. The array list class is looking for the class integer rather than the primitive data type integer. The difference between two is a bit complex and it is not necessary at this point in your learning of the Java language, but there is a difference. But to make it work correctly with array list, we have to use the class name which is capital I integer and not the primitive data type I and T. Then we can write numbers that are going to be the name of the array list followed by the equal sign and the keyword new array list, the data type and open and close parenthesis again if you're going to do doubles and not integers and it's the very same format we just change the data type to double we will call this one num nums again and again notice that the data type double is spelled with the capital d which is different than the primitive data type which starts with the lowercase d. Finally, we have to declare and initialize these error lists in one line because the compiler has to actually create the object when it is declared. So we can't declare an error list then initialize it later. The compiler won't allow that. We have to do it in one line, and so every time we create an error list, we are going to follow this pattern or we are going to declare the error list along with the data type and the name and then we are going to call the constructor to create an actual reference to that error list so that's how we initialize the array lists so we are going to move on to the next lesson where i teach you how to add data to an error list if you have any question or suggestion, let me know in the comment section below. See you in the next lesson. Bye.